welcome back to shop with sammy where i do mainly dollar tree hauls and then a shop with me's where i take you to the stores and we can window shop together you guys remember mervin's like open open we're like that we're like that with the shop with me's okay 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 so you guys make sure if you're the type of person that like just throws it in the cart then you're probably gonna want to subscribe to this channel I feel like I'm already starting off as a hot mess, but we'll just go with it. We'll go with it, you guys. Okay. All right. Whoops. Oh, no editing. We don't edit these videos. Okay. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and get into the crafts. Make sure if you like this channel, if you like the hauls, if you like the shop with me, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe because your girl is trying to work on getting monetized. Okay. So for crafting items, I'm going to say this is a crafting item. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before. It's covered in dog hair, of course, but they were like these four candle holders. Why, why are they all? It's like I was breathing on them or something. I don't know, but they are glass. And I thought one, of course, they're great for um, candles themselves, but also to craft with, I mean, I can totally envision this going the other way and making little like snowman hats during Christmas. Um, they could also be risers or legs for things and you get four for a dollar. So that is a pretty dang good deal, especially considering you can buy these by themselves for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So pick these up when you see them, lots of things you could do. And again, four for a dollar. So we can't beat that. All right, next I got these DIY fashion gems. And y'all know if you watch my DIY channel that I love these stick on gems like this because they're easy to adhere to like signs and stuff. You paint over them and it gives it so much detail. These actually come with a super glue on the back. So it says use on footwear, tech accessories, sunglasses, and more includes the glue. So that's kind of nice because I wouldn't use the glue, but maybe I'll use the glue on something else. So I got a couple packs of these. I really liked the like shape of them and I do like the gold. I mean, fall is coming y'all. It does not sound weird to say, but it's so true. Okay. I found raffia. Now y'all know that usually the raffia comes in a three pack and they come either three with the natural color or there is during fall there's like a orange red and i believe brown one that comes out so i found these which looks so fancy they're by american oak preserving company and they come like this so this is not a green buyer product product this is distributed by american oak preserving company in indiana and product of Madagascar, Raffia Bunch. Let me see. It doesn't say there's like a specific color, but so we got, there's a dark green. This slider, I would say this is like more like grass colored green. I do also want to say it says there's one ounce in here. So I believe, I don't know, you guys tell me, is this a better deal than buying like the, the smaller three pack, because I know the bunches that come in the three pack are not this large, like the individual ones. So yeah, I'll have to check that out. I haven't even seen the three pack of the Raffias out yet, but you guys, if you see these, grab them because seriously, fall DIYs for YouTubers are like right around the corner, which still, still insane. And then they have this wine color and the orange. So you all know, you know, these are going to fly off the shelves. So many people use raffia for um, fall DIYs. And again, they don't have any colors on them at all. But when I actually grabbed these, they weren't even scanning in. The lady was like, um, her name is Yolanda. She is so, so nice. She's my favorite cashier at my favorite Dollar Tree. But there's those. And then this, why does this one look bigger? because it is. So, oh, I should have grabbed more of these, darn it. I didn't realize this one, this one is two ounces versus these, which are one ounce. So the natural one, that's a lot for a dollar. I should have grabbed 
more of these. I didn't even realize that this was a different size. And no, it's the same company. The packaging is just a little different on this one. So don't let it fool ya. Um, I love this. It says American Oak Raffia provides that last detail and finishing touch to create simple old fashioned charm. I really like that. So there's those. All right, what I've been waiting to show you guys are, which you've probably seen them on other hauls, but the Sola wood flowers. I could not believe my eyes when I saw these babies at Dollar Tree, okay? So I work with Sola wood flowers on my DIY channel and they do send me flowers and I was like, ooh, maybe I should use them first before showing you guys Dollar Tree so I don't get in trouble. Anyways, but y'all, I'm here to save your coin, okay? Because I know as a mom and a wife and we're blue collar, like every dollar counts. So if you can find them at Dollar Tree, why not? And the weird, it doesn't say who makes them, but it actually does say Sola Flower Bag. Don't know if it's the, why do these look almost the same? P.O. Box. Okay, you guys, I think they're made by the same company. I could be totally wrong, but on this packaging, it says P.O. Box 187 North Jensen, Indiana, zip code. And this one has the same exact address on it. So I'm assuming they're the same company. So we have this version. I found this one. And then I found the colored ones as well. So these are kind of, let's open it up. I'll tell you if they feel the same as the Sola wood flowers that like I have. Yeah, they feel exactly the same, you guys. Exactly the same as like the actual like website brand Sola wood. Yeah, they feel exactly the same. There's that one, so beautiful. Now I have seen a yellow version and I think I've seen somebody recently haul some like pink ones, which uh, I need to find. I need to find those for sure. But those feel exactly like the ones that the company sent me themselves. And then the great thing with the natural ones is, keep in mind, you can dye these. So I don't know if there's like a certain dye you have to use, but I do know that with the natural colored ones, you can dye them. So grab those and I'll be on the hunt for more colors because these are so great to use for details. All right, what do I have next? Y'all grab them while, while they're here. Grab them, throw, throw them in the cart, just like that. Okay, whoop, whoop. just like that. If you hear a lot of banging, I'm sorry. I drink a, like a monster right, right before doing this. Okay, so these are the floral foam, but y'all know during Christmas, we are on the hunt for them. And then they're also great to make gnomes with, but I got, I think I got like six of them because during Christmas, I could not find these anywhere. And if you go to like Hobby Lobby and stuff, they're a lot more expensive than a dollar. So I grabbed quite a few for Christmas and for possibly making gnomes. I don't know, but those are out right now, so get them. And they are in the flower section. These were in the floral section as well in like baskets. So I'll try and remember to tell you guys where I'm finding stuff. All right, then I found Disappearing Spray Adhesive. And this one says Permanent Bond Multi-Purpose Dries Clear. I wonder, it says services, cotton paper, cardboard, photos, foam board, and wood, if this would be fine for the kids to use because I'd prefer this over like the messy glue that they just squeeze and, you know, get every, yeah, safe, non-toxic, solvent-free, acid-free, photo safe. So I actually might, I mean, I'll try it, but I think this would be good for the kids to try instead of having the messy glue everywhere. All right, don't need those. Those are mine, but I did get these at Dollar Tree. All right, who's here? I'm filming, but that's okay. We don't edit Dollar Tree hauls. You're doing, well, you're gonna have to wait. Okay, he wants to mow the backyard. All right, so finally found these beauties right here. I know y'all have been searching for these. A lot of you have anyways, and I finally found them. So that goes to show just because your Dollar Trees don't have them now, doesn't mean they won't get them in because people have been showing these for like 
I want to say over a month now and I have not been able to find them and finally they put them in the garden section. This one says locally grown fresh produce. Now these are cute. However, I, I would maybe leave this one as is, um, but I don't stop beliefing sprout some love. Okay. Beliefing. Is that what, what succulents do? Belief? I don't know. But um, I like them for the round actual sign part of it. So many things you can do with that. You guys know, I hope you don't get upset, but I mean, I'm, I'm a crafter. So everything in my mind gets ripped apart. Um, then I found these. We were meant to be. So you got that. These also, you guys, take these off and we can use these as labels. I didn't even think of that when I saw it on other things like on boxes and stuff because look at that shape so you got basically four little labels you can use plus you have the plant that you could use on something else so that is my mentality when i see these signs i grabbed this one this is the only seaside thing that came in our dollar tree they are actually still in there this is the only thing and i just got it for the arrows because these can be turned into houses we can make a different arrow sign with the stuff on the back. So like, you know, like barbecue here, slip and slide there for for 4th of July. And of course, I found this one. So the farmer's market, we've seen this one. I will say you guys, look at these closely because a lot of them, and I grabbed mine, all of them had it, but do you see where like the staple is starting to come through? And that's even on, like you could see it right there. It's coming through, was it on this one? No, but so this one, and then the same thing with, um, where'd you go? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? The nails are coming through them. So make sure if you do wanna use this as like a decor piece or something, make sure you are checking those out. I think these would be beautiful to take off and use as separate pieces on signs to add some filigree, especially because they are just really basic green plants. So we got that. We got the weep it and reap, which of course is a good sign, a cute sign on its own, but I really like the bones of it, how it has the planked edges. This can make another beautiful sign eventually. All right, winding down on crafting stuff. Already 13 minutes in, what's up, jeez? Okay, I grabbed these just because they were so stinking cute. I have no idea what I would use these for. I have tons of mason jars, I will say. This mason jar is super, super tiny compared to what has come out in the past. Like the 4th of July mason jars, there's also the other summer ones that came out last year. I haven't seen them yet, you know, that have the handle on them. This one is tiny. It is, let me see. From like the top of the pineapple down about 12 inches long and about six inches wide. So this is really small compared to the other one. And this was just so cute, especially with all the ice cream stuff that they have out right now. If you were to do like an ice cream social or I don't know, something like that. School's getting out. Okay, what else? Let's take a drink. Just kidding. Monster, feel free to sponsor me. Okay. I finally found these. I will link, I think I've actually done two DIYs with these now. I will leave a link for those videos down in the comments. This one I think is, I don't, I thought this was cute. I don't like the big giant rose up here. It just looks odd to me, but that's my personal opinion. And then there is the, what do you say? Sweet dreams. And then we have the love each moment. I will say after crafting with these y'all, it is hard to use these for crafts because one, this back piece, if you rip it off, you can't really do anything with the back because if you paint over it, you're going to see that big part that you ripped off. Then in the front, you have the flowers, they come off. You could heat up the hot glue, strip them down. But the words, at least on, there, there's another one. There's a fourth one. But 
let me let me see on this one on the the wording it's almost kind of etched in there or engraved this one doesn't seem like it is um because on the last one i used i had to use three coats of paint and the letters were still coming through it was almost like they were like etched in there it was so weird and if you tear the paper off then you can't paint over that either because then you're going to have like this cruddy surface so keep that in mind when you're thinking about using these for crafts. I obviously wanted them because of this beautiful wood grain frame, super easy, and so many different things that you can make with them. So I will try painting over this one, you guys, and letting you know, because it seems like it's a super smooth surface compared to the one that I used in one of my DIYs. So, oh, I'll just go with this next grabbed these and I have this for crafting because y'all I bought a bunch of these and it's not for the sign itself although it is super cute um it says home of the free because of the brave so I do think this is cute however signs like these are so amazing for making your own signs because of the plank effect effect it effect it has it's great for farmhouse signs you can also have like put them together to make like a bigger planked wood looking sign. So there's tons of things that you can do with these. So whenever I find the planked looking signs like this, I always snatch them up because I know I will, I will use them. So, and when I said snatch them up, I promise I left some, they had a lot. And, um, I grabbed these. I thought this, you guys, so well done. So this is a flag banner, but it looks like it's burlap. Let me, I don't want to take the whole thing out. So it's like a, a thin, it, it feels kind of like a thin burlap or I don't know what to call this, but I thought these were really well done and they look very high end. There you go. You got the stars and the stripes. I probably should pick up another one of those. And then their felt garland, which is nine feet long, which is a good... I gotta bend it seriously oh it's because they're attached like that oh I see okay so anyways I got these love them I thought these were very well done too you could even dress these up like in the middle if you got like the wood um stars from Hobby Lobby things like that you could put that in the middle stain those wood stars and this would take this from like you know 80 to 100 so already 18 minutes okay florals I grabbed more of these beautiful yellow color florals you guys know I was digging this color they're just so well done the yellow is beautiful it's not tacky it, it's like this deep vibrant yellow and I love them and I'm planning on doing like a navy and yellow out on our patio when we do start that project and these are great for like you know put them outside. If they don't last, it's no big deal. So I grabbed those and then you all know I'm on like this boho kick right now. Um, if you guys saw our vlog in the bathroom, I put all my Jenga block DIYs into our bathroom and I needed more succulents for the taller plant stand. So I grabbed these and you guys, I told you before, Dollar Tree is killing it with the succulents because I think they just look so well done these are the clipped ones i actually prefer these because i just rip the clip off and then i can kind of do whatever i want so there's that one so look at like even just putting these three you guys in a pot together with some pebbles there you go if you two if you saw the ones like at home goods that i picked up i mean granted those were only 13 bucks and they were heavy but i mean get one of like their plastic trays at dollar tree Get some of the pebbles there, even the white ones, but those are messy. Put those in there, pebbles, bam, just like that. And then I got these. And then, of course, these have the sticks on them too. Even if you get the ones in the little planters, those pull out of the styrofoam so easy. So keep that in mind. All right. I'm just going to show you this random because I didn't get kitchen stuff and I didn't find any food items to try. I know that's like your guys' favorite part. It's mine too. But I haven't found any new like food or anything that I've, I've been interested in. So 
haven't grabbed it. So, but I thought this was so cute. That's all. That's all. I just had to show you that. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Beauty. So beauty stuff. Y'all know beauty is on fire right now for hauls. Like, you know that all the hauls that you've been watching, people are just killing it with beauty stuff. Okay, I got y'all excited, but I'm going to make you wait because I'm going to show you the, the kind of boring stuff. But <laughs> psych, I found the Speed Stick um, body washes. I got the Sandalwood Smash and then I got the Surfside Rush. I actually really like like the men scents. I think they smell so good. Um, so I actually grabbed two of the Surfside. It smells really, that one smells, it doesn't smell like, you know, like that waterfall smell. It smells like the beach, almost like suntan oil with the water. And oh, that sandalwood smash smells bomb. And this is considered, I would, I think like a men or a like neutral because the lady ones uh, specifically say uh, lady speed stick body wash, gel. <laughs> I won't say it. But this one is in Exotic Blooms. I wonder if like there's a difference of why this is considered women versus this one. This one just says, enjoy a fragrant shower experience with Lady Speed Stick Moisturizing Body Wash. This one says, Speed Stick Moisturizing Body Wash will deliver a fragrant shower experience. So I really don't think, the only difference is that it's, it's floral. I should have smelled this before. Oh crap. Is that vanilla right there? No. It has kind of a vanilla smell. I can't do vanilla. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know if I'll be using that. It's too. And then, yeah, girl, found the big, big, big daddy. Sorry if I made a stick doing that. The Garnier Fruities. This one's actually the color vibrancy treat. One minute hair mask. Toji, Toji extract. So it says, here you go. There's that. Treat your hair to this creamy indulgence with 98% naturally derived ingredients. After shampoo, apply onto wet hair, leave for one minute. I wonder, it has a 12 month shelf life expectancy after you open it up. I wonder if this is gonna feel like the box dye, you know, sham shampoos. Oh, I will let you know because we're gonna do some reviews soon, you guys. So I was really excited. Okay, now like beauty stuff, which this is, I grabbed this for Everly, Temporary Hair Color Violet Purple. We have tried one of these before. It was a different brand and it was absolutely horrid. Like it was dry and flaky and it was so bad, so, so bad. So I'm gonna try this one with Everly. I'll let you know how it goes. It just says use comb or fingers to spread color through hair. So quickly dry, use a blow dryer. So it's the same instructions as the last one, but like our, her hair did not look like this last time. It was seriously like a crusty, nasty mess when I tried to do it. So I grabbed that for her. I found the big daddies. These look so darn fancy. They make me feel fancy, you know? And their anti-aging collection, makeup cleansing wipes, glycolic acid helps promote cell renewal, reduce oil, helps slow down the aging process. And there's 60 wipes in here. So that is an amazing deal. I grabbed two of them. Hopefully I like them. These are by the Global Beauty Care brand. So grab those. So there's two of those. Now you guys, for the makeup stuff, I want you all to know right now, right now that for every thousand hours I reach in my monetization process and I could keep you updated on that once my community tab actually goes live which thank you guys for a thousand subscribers so sorry I did not mention that in the beginning um but now that I have a thousand subscribers I should get my community tab and I will update you guys on my hours I need four thousand hours to be monetized and um, so every thousand I get, I am going to do a giveaway. So I'm gonna start collecting stuff 
And then once we get the 1,000, then I'll do a giveaway. Once we get 2,000, I'll do another giveaway. So a lot of the beauty stuff I got doubles of if they had it so I can start putting stuff away for the giveaway. So these I found, um, Twisted Gypsy. I, I said it on my last video. She found a lot of these Wet n Wild POW um, like brand stuff. And I got the... Um, what do you call it? What do you call it? The nail polishes. So I have those set aside for a giveaway. There's two of them. And then I found these faux lashes and it actually says lash glue is included, which usually is not the case with the faux eyelashes, like the Ionis and stuff. Those don't come with wood glue. So these are, um, style lash la reed or LA reed. I don't know. And those are actually really beautiful. I will be putting these in the giveaway though because I have no idea how to apply fake lashes. I have tried a million bajillion times. All right, I love lippies. I love lippies. Oh my gosh, I love lippies. Okay, where do I start first? So we got found the Hard Candy Glitterati Press and Play. This is Glitter Reveal Lip Color. And you guys, I have had quite a few of the Hard Candies, uh, the lipsticks. Come on, man. Are you gonna? I should open some of these before. Um, before, and I love their lippies. Let's see. Look at how beautiful that packaging is. I'm 35. I'm a grown woman, and I love this kind of packaging. I love glitter. I love highlighter. I love it all. But this would also be great for a teenager, like I always tell you guys, that's just starting out with makeup. I don't really see any glitter in here. Glitter transforming lip color. Maybe when it dries down. So this is the color. It, it's a little darker. This looks a lot more of a nude color. This is called Dazzle, but it definitely looks darker, but I'll wear any color. I've worn blue lipstick, purple lipstick. I will wear any color. So there's that, but I don't know where the whole glitter play, glitter transforming is coming in. I see it in the, in the bottle. It's kind of like a gold sheen, but I do not see it on my swatch. So, so let me get rid of that. Okay. So I grabbed one for a giveaway because I know not all of y'all can um, find this stuff. So that's even more exciting, right? All right, so we'll put this in my lippy collection. And then, sorry, my nose is like tickly. Oh, you guys, I have a fun concept coming. If you guys watch my DIYs, then you know that we do a lot of like hops where you can meet other creators. And I plan on getting a bunch of channels together to do that for Dollar Tree calls. All right, these were supposed to be a lot shorter so I could do more of them, but I think I just talked too much. Okay, so the next one is the Cashmere Silk. Now I have this in a different color and these are so buttery soft. Like they are so darn smooth. Okay, I cracked. Oh, this is dark too. Keep in mind too, if you guys buy these and this might not, who, who was the one that said that? Anna, only in my dreams, brought up a good point the other day. So here's, oh, that actually like matches my jacket perfectly. And it looks exactly like it does here. If you find colors that maybe aren't for summer, but for fall, like these would be, don't open them up and tell them because remember I told you they have a shelf life on them. So once you open them, certain ones like this one says 12 months. So this will be good for one year after opening it. So keep that in mind. If you find these colors, but you don't wanna wear them yet, wait to open them. So as you can see, this looks more like a lip gloss than it does a um, demi, -matte, demi matte, cream lip color so it's not you see how that one is more like this isn't a little bit more sheer that one has more coverage i really like this one okay so i'll be adding one of those as well to your guys's to that giveaway that first giveaway i also found this one so this is the wet and wild lip gloss brilliant let's put this are you gonna be a butthead to open 
Mm, no. It's, I'm doing pink anyways. Let's see. I can't really tell. Ooh, is it? Is it? This would be a great lip topper. Oh no, this would be pretty on its own too, especially right now. Look at that. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. I am all about that. So I grabbed a second one to go into the first giveaway, a thousand hours. So help your girl out. If you're cleaning, turn me on, put that playlist on. Okay. TJ. All right. Then I got the L'Oreal. These are the Infallible Paints Metallics. And I found the Moonlust. Let's take this out. So this is what it looks like. Gorgeous packaging. Oh, I was surprised. I thought this was going to be a tube. I did not think that was going to be a wand. This is like really thick. Okay, let's see what this metallic is. Oh, this is a really pretty color. Do you see that one? It's almost like a mauve. Mauve. Ooh, I really like that. And it's not too metallic-y. It does ha definitely has a sheen. And grabbed one for y'all. This one is, it's in Moon Lust. And sorry, these, this pink one is Rose Quartz. And this one is Biscuit. So you guys know, oh, I really like that color. I'm definitely vibing that color. This would look so good on top of this dark one for sure. Okay, now I didn't find two of these, but I found another one. And this one is Smoldering Eclipse. I'll test it. I'll wear any lip color. It doesn't matter the season. Like if I feel like I want to wear a dark one, I will. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh, this is like vampy. I'm digging it. Like date night out. Look at that. Do you see how it has that little touch of purple? Yes. I am digging that. And that one was called Smoldering Eclipse, which, oh gosh, my nose keeps itching. They do not look like what's right here. Just pointing that out. That definitely this looked like it was brown let's see this one no that one looks like it's like bright bubblegum pink and it's definitely not that color either so you just never know so that's why i want to swatch them for you guys because so i only found one of those so i'm going to keep that one especially because i swatched it that would be kind of gross and next and last i found the maybelline color sensational lipstick please tell me why the packaging gives me like 90s vibes like all over the place but bold high pigment lip color achieve crisp and vibrant color with our sensational lipstick now i believe they also had pencil lip liners there i'm not a pencil lip liner person i like gel lip liners um like the wet and wild ones this one is called coffee addiction now don't be fooled by like the lips because that's definitely not the color Packaging though. I'm for that. Know what this reminds me of? Zima. Am I? Did I just show my? Oh, that is dark. Mama. Okay. That is very dark. Very, very dark. So that, what's the shelf life? Because I, I don't see one here. But this one's called Coffee Addiction. So this does not look anything like the color right here so don't let that fool ya whatsoever so this is a dark dark brown perfect fall color and like i said like a lot of these keep in mind like if you're newer to makeup mix them so like this one would look good and then put your topper on here to give yourself like a little sheen a little gloss but i did get two of these so i will be putting this so this is just this oh, the start you guys I, it won't all be makeup i will put in some like hard to find like craft items and things like that but so keep in mind you guys every thousand hours so make sure you're playing your girl in the background while you're cleaning 
while you're sleeping, that's okay with me, while you're taking a shower. And then I will update you guys on the community tab, how the hours are going. And again, every thousand hours I get, we will do a giveaway until we get to the 4,000 hour mark, which is what you need to get monetized. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to like, you know, I love reading your comments and I will be seeing you here very soon. I believe Mondays is going to be a haul or possibly a shop with me. Not sure, but I hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you guys for spending your time with me. Bye.